just had a moment of clarity. Have you ever had this, this feeling in a bear market, right? We're going down. It's typical, especially on the macro zoomed out charts. If you've been studying, if you know about the cycles of crypto, it's normal. Portfolios are down across the board. Like crypto holders are down. Have you ever had the feeling of how much lower is it going to go? How, how much more pain is there going to be? And that feeling of fear, it's typical. It's normal. This is crypto cycles. That's why we have the fear part of cycles and then the greed part of cycles, the bull market, right? So fear and bear markets, bull markets, greed. It's normal. But I really truly think what really makes it, what, what makes the difference, I would say, for, for people who are successful in crypto is to separate yourself from that feeling. Completely do away with that feeling of, man, are, am I, is my portfolio going to drop another 10%? It's already been negative 10%, negative 10%, negative 10%. Welcome to a bear market. But instead of thinking that way, here's what I just realized. Kind of a moment of clarity. And I apologize for the brightness. It's so bright out. It's so hot out. But I'm sitting here in my car. Here's the point. If you look at it like how much lower is this going to go during a bear market, it's going to be painful, mentally, brutal. But if you start looking at it from the very zoomed out perspective, and that is to say, it is more risky to exit the market and not be in crypto than it is to hold crypto, it's a game changer. And everybody's in a different financial situation. Everybody's in a different situation in terms of how much crypto they hold. For many of you out there, in terms of your, your, the proportion of your income and savings and all that, many of you out there might be like, man, I feel like I have a good amount in crypto. I feel like I have a good amount in crypto in terms of our personal situation. And it's different for everybody. A lot of you might be like, dude, that's nothing compared to what I have, right? But that doesn't matter. But what matters is, in my situation, and this is just how I see things, when I, when I stop thinking about how much lower is this going to go, and I start thinking about, imagine if I wasn't exposed to crypto at all right now, it, it's towards the bottom of bear market. Imagine if I wasn't exposed, I wasn't invested. That's so risky to me when I really think about that. No matter if we're down 50% or 80%, the thought of not being invested in crypto right now, especially in terms of the cycles, that is where the risk is. Being in crypto right now with money invested while it's going down in a bear market is nowhere near, in my opinion, nowhere near as risky compared to not being invested in crypto because there's no guarantees, but I genuinely think just like every other previous cycle, we're getting ready to bottom out. And we, we could be very, we could be months away. We could have already bottomed out and we might just be sideways for a few more months before starting to go up again. And not being in these markets right now with everything going on, I don't think anything is, is more risky than that. And so that's just the point. Instead of looking at it like, man, how much longer, how much more pain, it's not that. It's how much how much more risk is there not to be in this game right now? That's the question. That's really all that matters. And it's kind of a similar question that I've proposed to myself over the years as a business owner. I'm sitting here in a parking lot because this is like my second office. I, I love to just get out, hop around parking lots, work from my phone, get stuff done, get some sun. That's just how I am. And that's why, I mean, this the brightness on this camera, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's bothering me. But as an entrepreneur, there's peaks and valleys, just as there is with crypto. So if you're if you're a crypto holder, I truly, if you're not a business owner, I truly look at you like you are a business owner, like you're an entrepreneur. Because the peaks and the valleys, the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows, they're there, right? And the only difference is mindset. And for me, even as an entrepreneur over the years, when things got really, really tough and rough, it's the same exact question. It's the same exact point. There's more risk for me to give up 
and to go get a job and to work for somebody else than there is to just risk it all, potentially just completely fail, right? And I failed many times as a business owner. There's so much more risk to give up and it's the same concept. To put it very simply, and this might sound extreme to a lot of people out there, I would rather see crypto completely fail, my portfolio go to zero. I'd rather see that happen than not be in crypto. And crypto does what a lot of us think it's going to do, and it just takes off. And think about just where we are in the cycles right now. We're looking at, you know, we're towards the end of this bear market. We're approaching the next Bitcoin halving. We see from the charts, I've been showing them a lot lately, what happens next, right, in less than a year in terms of uptrend, in, in terms of the pivot to the new cycle, we have, what is it, over $3 billion. There's, there's some entity out there just accumulated over, over $3 billion, over 100,000 Bitcoin in a matter of months. Nobody knows who it is, people speculating it's BlackRock, but we have things like that happening. Why are they doing that? I don't care if it's BlackRock, I don't care if it's a country, I don't care who it is. It's probably somebody that knows something. And it's not, it's not like they know something for the next month or they're doing it for to prepare for the month of September. They're doing it to prepare for the macro, the years to come. And so as a crypto investor, that's how I'm looking at it, the years to come. And I want to be invested for the years to come. I wanna be here for the years to come. So while we're in this pain environment sideways, it could go lower, there's fear, there's question, there's doubt across the space. That's for sure. While we're there, I like to separate myself from that and, and really revisit the question of, well, why am I invested? And I'm invested for the long term. And not being in this game is way more risky than being in this game, no matter how much the portfolio is down. And that's kind of just kind of a moment of clarity. I hope I explained it decent enough. If you know what I'm saying, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know truly how you're feeling out there and what you're thinking. If you're on the same page, if you're thinking something differently uh, in terms of your risk tolerance or your, your appetite and how you're playing this game, these cycles. And please hit that like button for me if you're still out there, everybody. Your support means a lot. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I will see you in the next video. God bless.